Hi, my friends. It's Miss Alyssa. I am here to talk to you a little bit today about what it's going to be like when we come back to school for summer. Because you're going to notice when you come to school, when summer school starts at the beginning of July, that things here are going to be a little bit different. So before I get too much into that, I have a little story we're going to read and then we'll talk about it some more, okay? All right. So here's our book. It's called Seeing Other People Wearing Masks. So you can see there's three people on the front of the book, and each of them are wearing a mask. And it says, sometimes I might see people wearing face masks at the store. I know when I go grocery shopping, I, I see people all the time wearing different kinds of masks. Wearing a mask at a store is a new thing. This is because of a germ called COVID-19. For COVID-19, I usually only saw doctors and nurses wearing face masks. Now, more people are wearing them in different places, not just the hospitals. So some of the other places you may see people wearing masks, we already said the store, uh, just out in public when you're on walks. And as you're, we're gonna talk about, you're gonna start seeing teachers wearing them in school. So those are some of the places you're gonna see this. In a store, I will see some people wearing a mask and some people not wearing a mask. When somebody wears a mask, I can only see their eyes. I won't be able to see their nose or their mouth. Their mouth and nose are under the mask, so the mask hides it. The people wearing masks can still talk and they might even be smiling at me. I just can't see their mouth. People wearing masks take them off when they get home, then their family can see their nose and mouth again. Some people wear glasses, some people wear hats, and some people wear masks. Seeing people wearing masks is different, but it's okay. All right, so that's the end of my short story, friends. So, like I said, one of the changes you're gonna see when you come to school, and actually even if you, when you come to graduation, for those of you that are coming to graduation on Friday, you're gonna notice that all the teachers are gonna be wearing masks. Now there's different kinds of masks. Like I have a homemade mask. I made my own. And as you can see, mine has flowers on it. They're pretty flowers. And on the inside, it actually has stripes. But so what I do with my mask is I put it over my nose and my mouth. And then these pieces here hold it over my ears. See? Now it's still me. It's still Miss Alyssa. And you can still hear my voice even though I'm wearing my mask. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're still the same people. It's just going to look different because we have our masks on. And I know sometimes that can maybe feel scary or upsetting, but it's okay. We're gonna work together on this, okay? Mm-hmm. So you might also see people who wear more masks that look more like what a doctor might wear. And they're the same thing. They're gonna cover, your, cover the nose and the mouth, but if you take it off, they're still there. And I promise you'll still be able to hear everybody and it's gonna be fine. It's just gonna be the same as before, just plus the masks. So it's okay to ask questions. It's okay to be unsure. I think everybody might be a little unsure right now, but that's okay. We're gonna get through this together, all right? So, and even some of you might even have masks that you might have at home, or you might see masks that maybe mom and dad or grandma or grandpa or, aunts or uncles wear and they're just to protect us right same thing as when we wash our hands which is something we're going to be doing more of when we come back to school 
We're gonna wanna wash our hands. We're gonna wash our hands as soon as we get to school. And we're gonna wash our hands between doing different activities. Yep, so we're gonna be washing our hands more. And sometimes your teachers might ask you to put more space between you and your friends. So instead of sitting right next to your friend, your teacher might ask you to move over and to leave more space. Mm -hmm. It's just so that we can keep each other safe and to keep our germs to ourselves and to not spread them around. Okay. All right. I think that's all I have for you. I am very, very excited that you all are going to be coming back for summer and that I'm even going to get to see some of you on Friday for graduation. So I hope you enjoy this next week or so you have at home. And then I look forward to seeing you for summer. All right. Bye, my friends.